To clone apps in the Z Fold 6, the first way is to start in your settings, then scroll all the way down until you see the advanced features option. Then we will scroll down again and we are looking for dual messenger. Inside of this one, only for messaging apps, make sure the app you want is installed. And you can tap this toggle, then tap install, confirm, and then we can install a duplicate version of the app in question. Now, this doesn't work for all apps. So option two is we go back into our settings and then we scroll down again and we look for the security and privacy. Then we want to look for the secure folder and this is under more security settings. So if we tap secure folder and then select continue and then continue again, this will create the secure folder. And the important note about this is it creates a duplicate version of that app, but the original app still can be accessed. The clone version of the app, you have to enter in your login, which we can set in order to open the clone version of the app. Once the secure folder is created, we can set our custom pattern pin or password so I'll set up a login. I recommend allowing the log reset with Samsung account for if you forget your login. Then tap next and it will open a secure folder which can be accessed at any time in your app drawer. So this creates the duplicate version. You can tap on plus and add apps which you have on your device or download from the Play or Google Store. If we go to our secure folder settings, what we can do if we want to always lock the apps is change auto lock secure folder to each time I leave the app. So you always need to enter in your login if you would like. And the third way is we download the multiple accounts dual space app from Google Play. This is free, but it has ads. So if we open this one, uh, we can just tap the plus to create a duplicate version of any app. So I will duplicate the Google and then I will add it. And so you open a duplicate version of that app in the multiple accounts. So you, and then you go into here and then we can just open the app just like that.